बात है السلام <تصفيق> Allah Azze ve Celle buyuruyor, şeytanın hilesi mekrü ne kadar şey yapsa da Allah Almighty says that the tricks and traps of şeytan, no matter how hard he tries, zayıftır, are weak. Şimdi şeytanların hüküm sürdüğü, şeytanın hüküm sürdüğü zamandır. We now live in an age where the devils and şeytan have rulership onun da Allah Azze ve Celle'nin dediği gibi zayıftır. However, that age and the devils and shaitans themselves they are weak. Şimdi her şeyi her türlü insanın bildiği şeyi bitirmek istiyor. Şeytan what he is after is to destroy humanity and to destroy everything that humans know. Ne varsa onu iyi zanneden, iyi kötü her şeyi bir şeytanın emriyle şeytan wants people to put şeytan wants to put people into a state where they can no longer distinguish between right and wrong and when there is no longer any barrier between what what is right and wrong and when people are solely under the command of shaitan. Onları hepsini bitirmek istiyorlar bu şeytanlar. Shaitan and the devils are after destroying everything that is valuable and make people no longer be able to distinguish between right and wrong and to destroy humanity itself and everything related to it. İnsanoğlu da Allah'a tevekkül etmeyip people however they do not trust Allah Almighty onların peşinden gidip instead they run after şeytan and the devils o kötü hallere düşüyorlar and then they end up in that terrible state in which şeytan wants them to end up in ne iyi varsa ne insanların bildiği bir şey de varsa hepsini yıkıp yere That terrible state people lose everything that is good and they lose everything that they knew that was good. Ne, ne yapacakları belli olmayan bir şey yapıyorlar. Ya and belli... instead they replace goodness with a state where they do not know what to do. Nedir yapacakları? Kötüydü. Daha yetmedi. Daha kötüsünü istiyorlar. They replace goodness with badness, and they then, once they have replaced goodness with badness, they want to replace badness with even what is worse and worse. There is no limit to badness. There is no limit to what the ego desires. And there is no limit to what shaitan desires. Ne kadar şey yaparsan o kadar daha fazla. The more you follow them, the bad you become, the worse you become, the more they want you to become more worse and worse. Ee, i̇ster. Yani ben bir günah yaptım. Bunu e, tevbe etmedim. So for example, if you commit a sin, if you don't ask Allah Almighty for forgiveness, bu yetmezler. Daha başkasını yap, başkasını. Shaitan will then tell you that single sin is not enough. You must do worse. Ama Allah Azze ve Celle onun bu hilesini mekrinde insanoğlu Allah'a tövbe Allah'a dönüp de tövbe ederse However, Allah Almighty declares that the tricks and the traps are weak. That 
whatever shaitan plans and does against does against humans is weak. Because the moment a human asks Allah Almighty for forgiveness and asks Allah Almighty for pardon, then all that thi those things shaitan has built will be destroyed and will have been for nothing. And Allah Almighty will then transform sins into good deeds when his servants ask him for forgiveness. And all those sins shaitan has made people to build up will then be transformed into good deeds if a person asks Allah Almighty for forgiveness and then everything shaitan worked for will have been for nothing and in vain. The state of this world appears to be bad. However, there is a goodness or wisdom in everything. There is a blessing in everything and in the face of difficulty there is ease to come. In the beginning there may be difficulty but that difficulty will result in ease. People, it is easier for people to do bad things. It is difficult for people, however, to do good things. However, if people resisted to do bad things, that will be recorded as a good deed. And when you do goodness, then that difficulty of doing goodness will decrease. And the rewards will increase. Ne kadar zor olursa o kadar mükafatı fazladır. And the more difficult things are in the beginning, the greater the reward will be for you. Şimdi bir şeytan Müslüman olanlara da yine bir hile yapmış. And there's yet another trick how şeytan cheats and fools Muslims. Efendim işte ben namaz kılamıyorum. Namaz People say I'm unable to pray for example. When I want to pray they say I, I cannot start my prayer I cannot pray because I'm in a state that makes me that I'm in a state which makes me impossible to pray I feel bad I feel overwhelmed I feel crushed. And when I want to pray I feel in I feel in distress. And this then leads to that person, whether man or woman, to not have prayed for many years. And why don't you pray? They say it's too difficult for me to pray. I feel in distress when I want to pray. However, if you overwhelmed that feeling, if you did not allow that feeling to prevent you from praying, then you would get a thousand times rewards for that prayer compared to any other prayer. Because the moment you overwhelm that feeling that prevents you from praying, that is the moment when you break your ego. If you resist those difficulties, and if you perform nevertheless whatever shaitan or ego tries in order to prevent you from praying, then you will be receiving a thousand times more rewards. However, if you stop praying because of that resistance, then you will have committed a sin because you have omitted your prayer. And you will have lost the great rewards and blessings to, re to receive through that prayer. 
Allah muhafaza etsin. Şey- May Allah Almighty protect us. Şeytan şerrinden, nefsimizin şerrinden. From the evil of shaitan and the ego. O zamanın şerrinden. And from the evil of this age we now live in. Allah, Amin Allah, Tafik al-Fatiha.